Good morning everyone. I hope you're all doing well. We are back at the allotment filming again, which is really nice. I just needed some time to be here and just enjoy the space and not actually be filming or worrying about not catching something on camera or anything like that. So um, thank you so much for your patience and the really kind messages when I put the post out. I really appreciate that. So, um, but we are back and it is the most glorious day. It's so nice. Um, I don't know how much kind of um, like time lapse filming I'm going to get done today just because there's quite a few people here. Um, but one thing I did notice yesterday that there were loads of bits coming off of my strawberries. Like, I can't think what they're called. If, if you know what they're called, just let me know um, in the comments. But they're the bits that come off and you can kind of replant them. And I've got loads coming off of them. And I've got loads of pots, so I've just popped a and q and I've grabbed just a one of the smallish bags, like the medium ones, of compost. And I'm going to try and plant some up and either take some home with me um, or keep them planted until... Because I want to kind of create a, something in the fruit cage where they can hang down. Um, and then they won't take up much floor space either. So that is the plan for today. I'll show you them because I've had the most glorious... Um, strawberries off of them this week um, they've been my snack while I've been here <laughs> so these are the shoots is that what they're actually called is just shoots I've got loads coming off so I'm gonna take some of these off and plant them up someone showed me how to do it so that should be good but just look how many strawberries and look they are just so red I've got a few coming up this side as well and they're just so nice. Um, but this orange thing was just one of those like um, bags and it has like a tie thing that I used for my melons last year. Um, and I've literally just cut it in half, put it over and it's kept the birds away. They've not taken any so far or none that I've noticed anyway. Um, not enough that I've not been able to enjoy any. So yeah, I've got those. I've also got another load of strawberries which are these ones, and I can't think of what they're called. Um, I wanna say they're like ice strawberries or something like that. And um, they're really tiny, but they really do pack a punch. So what I do wanna do is possibly try and split this plant up, because I think it is loads of different ones. Let's see if I can get in there. So I'm hoping that maybe if I can or I just have to get one big pot for it. So I'm going to start with the other ones first. And then if I've got time for these ones, we'll give it a go. Better than eating your own stuff though, is there? Mm, so good. Okay, so these are some little pots that were left over. And I've literally just stapled them in. Because someone said you need to leave the shoots on. Because they don't have like proper roots yet. You've got to leave them on otherwise they'll just wither and die so i'm hoping they feel pretty sturdy if it doesn't hold it doesn't hold they'll just go to waste anyway if i don't do anything with them so why not give it a try so what i've done is i've also got some i didn't have any like little sticks i've got some wire that um i don't know if you can see that properly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in like that and then I'm just going to put like the little thing, a bit of wire, kind of in there to hold it in place. And hopefully it should work. So I've got a couple more pots as well. I'll do a couple more over this side and then I think there's two or three over the other side as well. Perfect. So you can just see the wire there and then I'm just going to cover it up a little bit, give them a good water. This one was a little bit better it looked like it had roots coming up so fingers crossed it should be okay really pleased with those so i've just watered them and i'm gonna see i'm gonna come back tomorrow anyway um i've got a whole day tomorrow but i'm just gonna see if the kind of the weight will hold especially with the water in it as well i think it should be okay but yeah pleased with that so next up i'm gonna try and see if I can split these up. So I've just used my app called Picture This. If you don't have it, it's really, really good. Um, I've used it for so much stuff because I don't know what comes up um, at the plot here. Sometimes because of what was here before. Um, yeah, it's just really great for 
known what things are. So I'm going to try and split these up. It's called an Alpine strawberry, and the they only they don't come up much bigger than that. You can kind of see. Yeah, I've got loads coming up here actually, um, but they're just really really sweet, um, almost a little bit sour actually. So I'm going to try and put a couple into these pots here that I had left over from things I bought at um, B and Q. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna happen guys. I think I'm gonna have to cut the pot open and do it that way, which is a bigger job than what I think it is gonna be. I think, know me, knowing the way I do things, it probably is. So I think we're gonna give that one a miss for today, but I can grab a bigger pot tomorrow from home, um, bring it down, and then if I can't, at least I've got a pot to put it back into, if that makes sense. But before I leave, I thought I'd just quickly show you around. So these are the, I think these are the French climbing beans, which I only lost one and I don't know why it happened, but it's fine. Um, my spring onions that I put into the pot, they're coming up nicely. Um, my, I think these are the French climbing beans. No, these are the Blue Lake and they are starting to get some bits come up on them. These ones, the peas, I think, are doing very, very nice. Um, maybe these are peas because they look really similar. I'm not quite sure, but it's fine. Um, I've also got my Brussels, which I'm before I leave today, I'm actually got a cover that I'm going to put over this because they're getting eaten alive. My parsnips here, carrots. I think these are the Amsterdam forcing, and these are the purple haze. We've then got my potatoes. The other ones went to mush, so I had to get rid of those, but I think these should be ready soon. Um, I'm not quite sure when it's ready to kind of pull them out, but I might just give it a go tomorrow and see what happens. My apple tree's doing nicely. It's not dead, which <laughs> I mean, um, it's always a good sign. All my fruit bushes. You can see the raspberry starting to come up now which is lovely so i'm gonna try and get some wire some thicker wire to go across and then kind of train it to kind of go certain ways i think that'll be better um currants my blackberries doing lovely and so is the blueberry and then this is my other raspberry, but I think this is an autumn fruiting one, so we'll see. All my different squashes and pumpkins. So there's loads of different varieties. Some of them are gourds. Um, these are my normal Tom Fox ones, and then my big courgettes at the bottom. They're doing really, really nice. Pleased with those. But in here, I think some of the pak choy that I planted again, it has bolted again. You can just see them, but the beetroot's doing nicely. This is just a mix, like a salted kind of lot. And these are the ones I put in. I did seeds at home and put them in. And then this row here, I just put straight into the ground. My kale, oh, it's just beautiful. And it tastes amazing as well. Um, these were my peppers that I had at home and that probably needed to go in a polytunnel, but um they were getting a bit too big for the pot and the polytunnel wasn't ready so i thought let's chuck them in the ground as long as the, as well as the um tomatoes as well and they seem to be thriving so i'm not really that worried about them but we'll see onions garlic i did pull up some of these carrots the other day and the purple haze ones oh they were so peppery and nice so they went into a stir fry last night. Um, as you can see, bind weed has just taken over this whole bed really, which isn't great, but I'm trying to do just a little bit every time I come. Um, these are the Amsterdam forcing ones, which I took one out the other day and it wasn't quite ready, so I'm just gonna leave the rest. 
Um, these front ones are leeks. They get a lot thicker now, which is nice. I was a little bit worried. And then I'll just put the rest of the spring onions in the back. And my favorite part is the lettuce. It just looks so lovely. The onions have gone absolutely mad and they're starting to get these on the top, which I don't know if it's a good sign or a bad sign. I'm guessing that's where like the seeds go, it's flowering. That's where the seeds come from. But I'm wondering whether that means I have to pick the onions now or whether I just leave them because the stems are actually still really green. And someone said they'll go kind of like this, but all of them, so I'm not quite sure. Um, I think this is my cauliflower. They got absolutely demolished by the birds, but they still seem alive. So uh, I'm not taking them out. I'm just gonna leave them. And this is just a bit of random lettuce. I don't know. They must've just um, germinated really last minute, but the broccoli seemed to be doing really well. Don't know if you can see them properly. And then I ended up putting some beetroot. Don't know if you can see through really in between each of the broccolis just to try and try things out and make the most of the space really but they're doing really nice what isn't are my romanesco and kohlrabi they as well got demolished by the birds but they still seem alive so I'm just gonna leave it for now some of the rhubarb i'm gonna take with me tomorrow when I go to my mum's. And I've got some in the freezer as well, which I wanna try and make some jam out of. So I might pick some for myself tomorrow as well. But I think that's it for today, guys. Um, I need to get home to Robbie, because he's in the house. Lovely, it's, it's really nice and cool in the house now. Um, so I don't mind leaving him a little bit longer, especially with this weather. Um, it's probably got to be at least 20 degrees already, um, and it's only 11 o'clock. So, um, I'm going to get home to him. I'm going to go and treat myself to a cinnamon sausage roll because if you live in the UK, I'm going to put it out there. I think it might be better than a Greg's. Well, unpopular opinion, let's say. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to say thank you so much for bearing with me and being patient with the videos. Um, I'm hoping that from now on, we're kind of going to get back to the usual, um, at least one a week and the garden's starting to make progress as well so hopefully it'll be like one allotment and one garden one um each week so um that'll be fun excited to kind of get that all sorted we've changed the plan slightly with the garden um but i think you guys are going to like it even better as well so um i'm really excited for it so yeah thank you so much for watching and have a lovely week no have a lovely weekend enjoy the weather as well um Stay safe in the sun. Take care, guys. Bye.